Well, uh, Sunday afternoon, I guess. What are you doing today, Rick? Well, uh, fucking, I'm gonna cut some hay. Some second crop, that's kind of nice. Especially up in here, that's pretty good. And then it gets a little spotty over the fucking hill, but whatever we're gonna knock it down let it get dry and anyway before this clover completely turns you can see some of it's turning so um i'm sure as hell don't want it to go to waste well, let's get to work <laughs> Three miles an hour. Right now we'll be about 3.2 once we uh, get over this. There's a couple of rough spots here. Now right along here is a little bit thin, but I'm trying to capitalize on all this nice clover that's out here this year, so. Close the fucking window. Hold on. There we go. That's better. Um, trying to capitalize on this clover that's out here, because this will make some nice bales. A lot of nutrition in it. So, and then we're going to spread some manure back on it. And I'm gonna try to keep the cows off of this this year and maybe get a third cutting on it. Now you see right here, it gets a little thin. But that's all right. Yeah, how with it? We'll give her anyway. Um, so I'll concentrate a little bit more manure over here this week. And, uh, See if we can't make it into something again. Oh. I'm gonna take the excavator and scrape that fucking lump off in there too. Smooth this thing out, because the rest of this field's not so bad, but. And I probably could have waited on this a little bit, but I wanna wanna get that clover before it goes, goes south on me. So. I'd like to get in and clear this brush line back and get a little bit more field out of this too. You can see we're, we've been in there, but there's a lot of work to do to get that cleared back. I can only go back to the other side of the trees because beyond that's cattails, but it'd be nice to get everything I can out of it. Fill in that little low spot there. With the old chip spreader, probably 10, 12 loads in there, you could probably fill that in and level it off pretty nice. So we'll probably do that too. And there's some holes in there and all kinds of shit. So yeah, we'll uh, keep plugging away at it. Down here is really thin. Maybe I should have cut it off back there, but well, whatever. We'll do the whole thing. That way we can spread fertilizer on all of it. There's a fence post in here too that we got to get rid of. And then I want to clear that back, and uh, that give me a lot more, a lot more room. So, a little wet in there. All right. I'll we'll come back with you here in a little bit. See what we get. They're not the biggest, fullest windrows in the world, but that's some nice damn grass, so we're gonna, we'll take it. Um, yeah, she's a little skimpy on this end, but that's okay. We'll take what we can get, and then we'll, uh, 
we'll fire up the excavator and get the shit spreader on and after we get this bailed off and we'll go from there. So there's probably the average of your clover. That's probably eight, ten inches tall, the clover itself. The under grass isn't so as tall, but that's okay. Um, it's not leaving a... Hold on, my phone's plugged in. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. No, I disconnected the fucking... Look at that. I pulled the cord off. I disconnect the... Pulled on the cord and I hit the fucking PTO. Fix, fair shit. Alright. But we're not leaving too bad of a windrow. I mean, for some uh, skimpy second crop, I'll take it, I guess. For up here, that's if I let that clover head out too far, it'll start dying back, and that's not good for that's good forage. So, fingers crossed. If we get late enough into the year, this is uh, God. When did I cut this? First part of June, end of May. So we're about 60 days on it. If I get another 60 days of decent weather, uh, maybe I get a third cutting on it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll spread a bunch of fertilizer on it and see what the hell happens, right? Now there, that's the good stuff. This is a little spotty because this is where they had the uh, potash stockpiled when Bob and Wendy put potash on. So still paying for that it burned it off pretty good but you see this stuff we get in here oh, look at that there you go let her eat so that's pretty nice pretty nice stuff there um, really I'd like to get the whole field like that but we're gonna start with some fertilizer and then uh, next spring when I fertilize it again Maybe we'll throw some seed in with the fertilizer and uh, overseed it just a little bit. This isn't a field that I want to turn over yet because it's still yielding pretty well and it's not super fucking rough, so I'd rather focus on the low yielding and rough fields at this point. I don't care who you are, that's some nice forage. Um, those are going to make nice bales. It's a little bit skimpy in a few spots, but considering, uh, we don't normally get second crop, but we didn't before because of the, the practices, but cutting early seems like it paid off because I didn't get shit for hay on it this early, and it was kind of skimpy and burned out and I ended up feeding it to the cows anyway but I think uh, I think this kind of stuff right here is going to make up for that so I think this is way too green to be ready tomorrow especially since it's supposed to get kind of cool tonight down in the 40s so we're probably going to have to wait until Tuesday to rake and bale this if it's not too dry or if it's not drying down good tomorrow I'll run the tether through it and uh, we'll call her, but if I get four or five bales off this field of like that kind of stuff, I'm more than happy with that. I'll tell you what, that's nice stuff. But um, I got some first crop I got to cut. This is a field that's new to me, so. I don't know that I can uh, do much videotaping over there. I don't even know the landowner, actually. This field was given to me by the previous guy that cut it, so I'm uh, just going to go over there and cut the field real quick. It's only like eight acres or something like that, but every little bit matters, and I drove, I drive by it all the time. It's not good hay. Uh, part of the reason I got it, and part of the reason that it's uh, a lot further from 
the other guy that was doing this only a quarter mile down the road or well a mile down the road for me so fuck it doesn't matter we'll knock it down and get what we get out of it and maybe if I can talk to the landowners and get a longer deal on it make it worth me putting fertilizer on it we'll see kind of some future plans here I want to start cleaning up this stuff down here and uh, be able to expand this pasture and then work my way back if you recall last winter especially for the people that are new coming in I did a bunch of logging out there I want to tip the rest of those trees over and get all that stuff piled up down there I'll make a hell of a bonfire next winter but um, I get rid of all that junk over there but I want to get this brush out of here too there's a bunch of rocks and debris and all kinds of crap down in there so um, that's not a place you're gonna put a, a plow in the ground but I can haul a bunch of fill in there start building that up so it's not so low either cuz we have a pile there future project not an anytime soon project maybe a this fall project but um, We'll see what happens. I did get the I get the grass cut today. It looks pretty schnazzy. Schmancy. Um everybody's out there fucking happy as a lark. I am gonna go find a beer and go cut some more hay. So hope everyone's having a great weekend and hey.